Wait. Before I leave, Sandra, this will be the first and the last time I step my foot in your office. Fine. And let me remind you that it is my sweat that made you who you are today. Don't worry. <laughs> you will also become a parent and you will feel what I'm feeling today. This, I promise you, Sandra. I promise you this. I promise you this. Michael, don't you get it? I said I don't want to see that man again. You can't be serious, right? Are you? That man is your father. <laughs> and you are all he has. This is not what he expects from you. Babe, don't suffer that old man. <laughs> My goodness. Does it look like I care? In fact, let him take care of himself. In fact, I'm done with this conversation. Make use of the door. I will leave. Let's go. But remember, there is a way that cements rights onto a man. But the end is distortion. I'm talking trash. Goodbye. Get out. I can just tell you this rubbish. Can't just imagine that. Hmm. Hmm. What a pity. What a pity. That my own daughter, Sandra, my beloved child, only child, will forsake me in my old age. I took care of her when she was tender up to her adult age. And now, when I need care from her, she has forsaken me. I am yet to understand why she is acting this way towards me, her father. Hmm. Can't believe this. Well, let me go and check up uh, in her office. Who is there? Come in. Good afternoon, sir. Oh. Michael, how are you doing? I'm doing very fine, sir. Wow, you're welcome. Oh, please have your seat. <clears throat> Michael. Yes, sir. There is something bothering me. It's about my daughter, Sandra, your friend. She has decided to alienate herself from me, her father. Uh, by the way, how is she doing? Sir, I, I do understand everything that is going on. But please, sir, just calm down. Everything will be fine. I assure you. I hope so. I hope everything will come back to normal. And I was about going to check up on her in her office. But since you are here, I'm happy. I'm going to talk to her for you, sir. Just, just sit back and calm down. I promise. All right, Michael. I believe in you. Hello, Secretary. Oh, good morning, sir. Good morning. Yes, sir. Please have a seat. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Um, how are you doing? I'm fine, sir. Um, please, has my daughter recorded for work today? Mm, not yet, sir. No problem, sir. 
No problem, I was just uh, missing her, so I came up to check up on her and see how she's doing. But, uh, you know... What are you doing here? What's he doing here? Sandra, you're welcome. Please, just hold your greetings. Sandra, what have I done to you? I missed you, that's why I'm here to see you. Excuse me, please. Look, there is no time for all this. Just leave! I do not want you in my life. Don't you all understand? What? I have everything I want, so I don't need you. You can go, please. Oh. Oh. I'll call the security man for you. I'm so surprised to hear this from you. And you. I told you not to allow this man to enter this place, right? No, I was about to. Oh, I see you were about to. Hello, sir. I'm about to send you out of this place right now. Security! What? Let him out. Ma. Sandra. Yes, ma'am. Is ma. this the way you treat your father? <laughs> Sir. Please use the door. Wait. Before I leave, Sandra, this will be the first and the last time I step my foot in your office. Fine. And let me remind you that it was my sweat that made you who you are today. Don't worry. <laughs> You will also become a parent and you will feel what I'm feeling today. This, I promise you, yeah, Sandra. Please, no. I promise you this. You are just saying trash. <laughs> and as for you, secretary, since you cannot adhere to simple instruction, I'm going to withhold your salary for three months. Ah, oh, ma, I'm so sorry, ma. I'm sorry, ma. Please, ma. No need. The date has been done. Please, ma, I'm sorry. Get out! I'm sorry, ma. I'm not going to. I'm sorry, Mom. We are dead. Sandra, that was so unfair. Oh, you think because you're my childhood friend, you can tell me what to do, right? Look, I'm not questioning your orders, but for God's sake, that's your flesh and blood. Flesh and blood, I know. But I have my choice. I have a choice to make, don't I? I am wise. I know what is good for me. So please, this should be the last time of you, you coming out, you coming up with this. You know what? Just respect yourself. Just do as you wish. I'm out of here. I'm really happy for you, dear. Like, thank God for you. You are really attaining greater heights. Thank you so much, my girl. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> well, that reminds me. Okay. Were you able to check up your dad, considering that he was sick the last time? I got the news he was sick, actually. But that aside, something else is bothering me. I need him to sign on this contract. In that case, just go and meet him, like I've always been telling you. Sure, I'll go meet him. Please, can I ask you a question? Sure, you can. Are you going to see him because of the contract or because you also want to see your father? Michael, you've come again, right? Okay, fine. Whatever the case may be, it's not your business. I'm sorry, it's fine. Fine. Anyway, let's just go to your dad's house and get done with this contract. Okay, I should do that right away. So, let me check on my security. Seems no one is living here. Where could it be? Dad! Is it? Dad! Sir! Sir. Dad! Okay, you know what? Okay. Let me check his room. He might be sleeping in his room. Uh, you could really check his room. He has really not been around. Everywhere is even dusty. 
Who must see? Where is he? This is just where he sits. Like and it's so unlike him to just go out like that. Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? I picked a letter from his room. My dad is huh. dead. <laughs> I didn't even get the chance to apologize to him for all I let him go through. I've not seen his body. I don't know where he is. I don't know how he died. I don't know how he died. <laughs> Somebody help me. I'm finished. I, I think I need to go to... Listen, you're not finished. <laughs> I think I need to die too. I don't deserve to leave. Sorry. I think I need to die too. Listen. <laughs> I made my father go through a lot. <laughs> Listen, Sandra. <laughs> I'm so sorry for your loss. Oh my God, what do I do right now? My I'm so dad. sorry. Listen, you are going to get over this. I promise you. Please, it's okay. I, I didn't get the chance to apologize to him. No, see, I was never a good child to him. What do I do now? What do I do? I'm actually regretting this so much. Listen, Sandra, you are going to get over this. How? Truly, really, the way that cement right to a man will always end in destruction. <laughs>